morning it is quite bright and early and uh, I just wanted to do this video um, I've been wanting to do it for a while but I've never found the time so here we go let me just press that this is the Stecker 48 volt um, charge controller but you can set it to 12 or 24 or it can be set on automatic automatic sensing which is how it comes from the factory and of course for automatic sensing you always fit the battery first always fit the battery connections before you fit the solar okay anyway Jamie who you will have met from the station road garage video and I'll put the link up there to that one um, he was floating through Lincolnshire and he dropped in, which was great. So we had a bit of a tour and when we got to the battery shed, uh, I noticed that the battery volts were a bit high. It's been very sunny, but the battery volts didn't need to be that high. Um, but we didn't have, I didn't have time at that point to investigate because you, know, you have to um, take your time and think about it. Anyway. The next day I was having a look and just here there's a letter and it can either be E for equalize, B for bulk which is what it is now or F for float. Okay so equalize takes the voltage uh, higher to get all the batteries up to a set level. Bulk is make sure you put the bulk of the charge in there and float of course is just float along so each one the voltage is reduced because the batteries theoretically are charged up so you don't need to be giving them loads of uh, voltage anyway um i don't know it it was stuck in e so a bit of um thought and a read of the manual what we came up with is press set and hold then down to systems and then down again to factory reset okay and then when you go into that it asks you to put this code in now putting the code in is a bit fiddly and you'll have to experiment a couple of times but it's one of these things where you start off you up and down press set up and down press set and all that sort of thing and if you get confused there's always escape but having done that it will reset to factory settings now I suggest I don't suggest that you do it um, in full sun yeah um, or isolate the solar or something like that because you could be switching a lot of current yeah but anyway what happened was that um, it went back to normal so once it had restarted itself and gone through the start page which it just comes up and it goes oh it's a 48 volt system la 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 and it will stay there until you press escape and then it goes back to the normal page um, I will put a link up here again to the video where I installed one of these just to show you what's going on it's probably quite a few years ago now but it'll give you more info uh, I'm gonna press escape here so there you go and then once it was um, um, back to normal like this it was on B and it the the normal charge controlling was happening you know you could hear it once it got up to voltage the pulse width modulation was happening like dick, 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 dick. yeah and it was just keeping the voltage down now you're going 1.3 amps is that all well it is about six o'clock in the morning and we've been through the evening and night and we're still on nearly 50 volts 49.7 volts so i think that's pretty good you know 
fridges and freezers and all sorts of things being been running and lights and this and that and the other uh, and there's a dehumidifier in one of the buildings providing uh, water for the batteries here so that will be running all sorts of stuff so um, hopefully you'll have found this of some use so if you get this problem where it's stuck in a certain phase just go to a factory reset now we have on this this is not the only charge controller I've got so um, uh, there is another set of charge controllers that are effectively dump load uh, controllers so it goes up to a voltage and then effectively switches the solar panels off from the batteries but because it controls a relay and it's a changeover relay then instead of that power being lost it gets diverted to the storage heater in my office and that runs at about 63 volts DC and I've changed the elements in that storage heater so that it provides a very useful uh, amount of heat and again I'll put the link to that video up here um, hopefully this has been of some use catch up with you soon